you must be Rob. And you must be Aaron. I am. Excited to meet you. Great. Welcome to Sims Recycling Solutions. Are you ready for your tour? I am. Excellent. So let's get some safety equipment for you and we'll get started. That's my favorite part. Back to you. Wow, Rob, this is impressive. This is uh, 285,000 square feet, roughly, of electronics recycling. Unbelievable. We do it all here. So let's go look at the prep area, and we can talk about what we're removing there. Let's do it. Rob, this is the noisy part. This is not really noisy. When we get back in the back, oh. you'll see some noise. Okay. Or here, I should say. <laughs> this is our preparation area, where we're actually removing the hazardous components out of computers and, and uh, uh, monitors and printers. So items such as batteries and toner cartridges and fluorescent lamps. We have to take all of these out before we shred the material. Well, this is a piece of electronic equipment that's come out of a larger piece of equipment. What's happening here is there's removal of various components. Some of the components are removed because they can be upgraded and treated separately for better metal recovery. Other components are removed as hazards, as I described earlier, because of the danger of associated health and safety and environmental risk of dealing with them uh, as part of the shredding stream. So we take them out first. Very good. So it's all about safety, safety, safety. Yep. Being aware and making sure for the environment's sake. But at the same time, look what we're doing because you're taking all of these computers that otherwise would fill a landfill. Otherwise they would be in landfill. That's Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, where's your next? We'll go look at the battery station. Okay, I'll follow you. This is our battery taping and sorting station. So batteries have to be, uh, uh, the contacts need to be taped to prevent short circuiting and the risk of fire if battery contacts touch each other. After they're taped, then they get sorted into the appropriate drums for recycling at the battery recycling facilities. Is there a way that we should be thinking about putting them in the garbage? Rechargeable batteries in the province of Ontario have a wide program for collection and recycling. There are alkaline battery recycling programs as well, but really they should not go into landfill at all. So most people are putting those batteries right now in the garbage and they're going off the landfill and that's not ideal. Often the case, not always, and certainly in electronics that come in here, all the batteries are recovered. Very good. Hey Rob, I need a new phone. None of them work anymore because we've, uh, we've already dismantled them. They've had the batteries removed already, but they're all for recycling. But again, instead of these being in the garbage and in the landfill, they're being reused. Yeah, these will be shredded up and the materials separated for recovery. Excellent. Okay, now where? Well, we'll go and see the shredding side. All right. Wow, it's a lot louder in here. This is where we really need our hearing protection. We have two major parts to our plant. One is our glass separation plant on this side, and on the other side is our metal separation plant. They are interconnected somewhat, but mostly they're distinct operations. In here you can see we're putting uh, CRT glass, actually computer monitors and television sets, into the shredding system and it will go up the conveyor into this big shredder and then we'll do further separation. Now I recognize some of this stuff. Yes, this is all from the prep area. All the hazards have been removed here. We've done all the manual dismantling that we're going to do on it. And this will get fed into our material metal separation plant. How many stages are there in this whole process? Well, there really are dozens of stages, but not all the materials need to go through every stage. So it depends on the actual material itself as to how many stages it goes through? That's right. Some are much more, much simpler to deal with uh, in terms of separation requirements. So give me an example of something really simple. For example, uh, a CRT tube, the glass from a monitor or television, without anything attached to it, is really quite simple. It goes through our GSP or glass separation plant. And really what we're after is separating the leaded from the unleaded glass. So let's go the other extreme, give me something that's the most challenging and requires the most amount of processing. There are a number of complex electronic equipment types, uh, you know, maybe medical equipment for example, may have a lot of different material types and a lot of different hazards that have to be removed before we can even shred the material. And then once we've shredded it, we've also got to make sure we separate the right material streams out of it so it may go through multiple stages. A lot more to it than just dumping off your, again, forgotten goods. 
You see there's a lot of different types of pieces in there, different qualities of steel. Yeah. But it is all magnetic steel, so it's all been collected by our magnetic separation. And it's all the different colors too. I mean, yeah, there's different see. colors. Some of it's got some contamination and it, it requires further refining Fine. at the steel manufacturer. This is a commodity at this point, wow. so it's being sold as a commodity. Uh, this will go to one of our downstream processors, a, a steel producer. All of our downstream processors are uh, rigorously audited to make sure they meet all the environmental, regulatory, and health and safety standards. And they're strict standards. They're very strict standards. It uh, reflects our commitment to sustainability for this business. It's a beautiful thing. Well, Rob, thank you so much for an amazing tour. What an eye-opening experience. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad you were able to join us today. We're very proud of what we do here, and we like to show it off. Well, you should be proud, because again, there's a lot going on here, and people are just unaware of it. It's true, and uh, when we uh, recycle this equipment, we're doing it right. We're doing it uh, sustainably. We're doing it with environmental and health and safety consciousness throughout. So I think we're uh, doing the right things. So finishing words, recycle right, recycle now. Excellent.